Kelpy walk. All right. Well, we're just gonna spend like a few minutes, uh, just taking care of a couple. Getting it set up and sharing the link. Yeah, I gotta uh, go onto YouTube real quick. Go on YouTube's. And pull up some video stuff so I can share it onto the uh thing. Oh, we're going with the same title from yesterday? Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, I have got to mute the tab because... I oh, love this song. Oh, crazy. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna share this small YouTubers group first. <laughs> Happy Dog Year 2018. It's gonna make me laugh every time I see that. Because I'm a horrible person. Alright, slide this over. You should be streaming, my friends. Yeah, I'm streaming right now, so I just gotta put in my basic info. Okay, um, have you shared the link at all yet? Uh, no, I just gotta share it on, uh, Facebook. Okay. I'm also waiting for stuff to, uh, kind of... Here we go. There we go. Hey, it's me. <laughs> so hopefully it should have, okay, all changes are all saved. Right. So I put it in the Puck Discord. I put it on nice. my channel chat on the Jimmy D cha server. Sent it to a couple other friends on Discord. Shared it on small on the YouTube group we're part of. Okay. Corbin, you weeb. Copy link. I'm going to share it in the Facebook group chat, too. Okay. <laughs> I, I totally copied and pasted uh, last week's. <laughs> Well done. Last week's last I'm, night. Last night, hush. <laughs> <laughs> so you want me to post on the pup page? Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, could you also send it to Becca? Yeah. The one problem is how slow my laptop gets when I'm streaming. I believe in you. It's actually part of why I'm trying to post the link as in as many places as I can. So you don't have to go and do it. I have to move to my cell phone to do it. Womp womp. <laughs> Wee hee! So... Post it to the pup page and to my mm. page. Post it. Mm -hmm. Alright. 
Did John say he was gonna watch it or nah? I don't know. I mean, in the end, we're gonna start at like 10 anyway. <laughs> with what <laughs> we have to right, do. Yes. That's fine though. I honestly thought mom and dad were gonna watch this tonight with all the questions they were asking. <laughs> <laughs> mom and dad creeping from the doorway in the back. Charlotte, what are you doing? No! <laughs> Don't watch my weebiness! <whistles> Such a catchy tune. It is. Why is it so catchy, cat? Oh wow! Hi, three people watching. Hi. I think one yeah, of those. Welcome to the stream. One of them is me. One of them's also me. So hi, other person watching. Okay, one of them is someone else. Uh, I'm just gonna let the gr the mod chat know that we're live. Also. Okay. I mean, I posted in the my channel chat, but I don't know what people's notifications are for that one, so. Uh, Alright, so it's posted in... Alright. We'll just start now, because... Why... Three places on Facebook for me. <laughs> it's, it's watching Seption. Alright. Don't, don't warp with our viewers. I say Sayori's pose is super cute on this front, though. Yeah, that is cute. That's cute AF. I, I desire a, a skirt that that is huh? going to be that swishy. This thing is opening. Yeah, it won't open for that. Oh. oh. Right. Swishy skirts are the best. I got the comments. You're just supposed to relax and play! Okay, okay, how do I exit out? <laughs> I, I did something wrong! Did you share on Tumblr? Oh, no. Don't. It's just not worth it at this point. Hey, John! Oh, hey, John! Jimmy. This is my legit twin sister. Legit twin sister? I don't legit. Know if you're illegitimate twin sister? Yeah. Um, I'm gonna change the priority to this. What? So I'm gonna change the priority of playing on this. That's so much of life. <laughs> okay. Should be better now. Um. Shouldn't try. Yo. Alright, I'm gonna do a little Instagram thing too. A few things that will help. Like a. Do you think an Instagram video would help? Uh, yeah. Why is it bad? Alright. Okay. Oh gosh. Got a cool mug. Oh. I can hear talking. Hey. John, what's a non legit twin sister? One who's not legit to quit. I ain't a quitter. <laughs> Mama ain't no. Wait. Mama <laughs> ain't raised no quitter. <laughs> <laughs> I can't words. <laughs> Who needs to word? This is why words aren't important. Details not important. Details not important. Uh, I'm uh, afraid to like cross my legs because I feel like they'll get caught. Like lady in the <laughs> wires. <laughs> I don't want to touch her, but she needs to be rescued. <laughs> uh, so while we have some time before we start, do you want to hear the story about what we just talked about, Kat? Sure. So, our cousin Kathy had like this really old Shih Tzu, and it was so gross. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like this dog was blind, and deaf, and looked like it had mange all the time. It was nice, terrifying to look at. I still get nightmares about that dog, Chrissy. But one day she got caught behind the TV where there was like a bunch of wires and stuff, and we wanted to rescue her, but we didn't really want to touch her. Which is kind of sad. 
She, we still rec- rescued her at like three in the morning. Yeah, we rescued her. But it was still really gross. Like we were both like, "Don't touch me." <laughs> Every time that that dog walked up to us, we're like, "Don't touch us." And she always barked. She didn't like people. She did not. She only liked Kathy. And now there's just their other dog, which has a really gross body. <laughs> Big dog has be- went from adorable to really di- disgusting. Like we don't know if it's mange or yeast infection on him. I think they said it was a yeast thing. The so, yeast Charlie, is tickly. Do you have an Instagram? I do. It's uh, I think it's Beowulf. Uh huh. Okay. I've tagged you on. Um, let me double check what it is. Is Beowulf zero one? Okay. Join another chat. Like I literally just posted to our group that you are in, that I am streaming right now. <laughs> Dang, Chrissy, you fast. I you know. On point. Giving out likes. I have it shared to Tumblr, by the way. I don't know how far that reach will go, because I don't have like any followers on that Tumblr. All right. So, a few more minutes before we start. Where am I typing? Tick <laughs> tick Five people watching. Yep. Hi, Natalie. Oh, hey, Nat. I forgot. I shared the link on the group chat. Oh, way to go. Hush. Hi, <laughs> you. You can't make me. I'm gonna go ahead and close Skype for now. Oh, well, actually, no. I'm gonna open it real quick, and Don't then I'm gonna do a thing, and then I will close what it. What does that mean? Heartbeat. Heartbeat. Oh. Oh, right. Right. Like, sugar, donkey, donkey. Laugh. Laugh. On! <laughs> I sound more Indian than Japanese uh. when I say that. <laughs> I love shankon. Alright. Alright. I am done doing so, message things. Oh, I didn't realize I am to do that. Oh, All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and start. Yep. Yep. So I have the screen up so I can see the game as you guys play, and then I have the YouTube stream up so I can see the chat. All right. Nice. Because I'm a smart cookie. <laughs> Multitasking. Where we save the game twice. Uh, you can use right. the skip button. Ooh. All right. So one second. We're gonna reintroduce ourselves. Hey guys, it's me, Charlotte. I'm Chrissy. And we have... I'm Kat. So today we're finishing up uh, episode, our first run through of Doki Doki Literature Club. Um, once again, this is a blind run for her. Uh, Kat and I both know how the game ends because our friend uh, Jimmy D uh, played this a couple weeks ago. I'm just going to ignore the chat. <laughs> uh, so I liked it very much. I thought this would be a perfect fit for you. And I told Kat, and she's like, yeah. Not very enthusiastic there. <laughs> it's Kat. Uh, oh. I was more enthusiastic than that. <laughs> you. Okay, okay, let me do my best cat enthusiasm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's way, that's way too much there. <laughs> Tone it down, Kat. And literally anyone who knows me knows that that impression was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Give them the wrong impression. We need to charge her laptop. <laughs> uh, the laptop should have been charging. So, the reason we're finishing the first run through today instead of having done so yesterday is... Ah! Pass me that charger. Sorry, there's some technical difficulties. Oh my god. Oh shit. Just connect it. <laughs> Movement. There you go. It it was we just accidentally disconnected it uh, the the base. Um. All right, so let's get started. I I just watched a bunch of Rosanna Passiano <laughs> recently. Jimmy says I show up and everything goes down the shitter. Yep, that's right. Hashtag Sorry, fu- blame Jimmy. Hashtag hashtag no more help Jimmy D. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. 
So we're speed reading this, Chrissy. Okay, let's like see how... Like speed read Dr. Seuss. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I can speed read that well. Um, okay, are we going to start now? <laughs> action, action. Ow! <laughs> I think you broke my nose! <laughs> it's an old video that Shell and I did. I burned I, that copy. I hit her in the face when she pinched me after she said action. Um, so we're going to start. Uh, I'm Taco Senpai, and these are my thoughts. I've gotten a little more comfortable here over the past couple days. Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. Hi, Taco Senpai. Yo, Sayori. Yo. Looks like you're in a good mood today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just still not. U I'm just still not used to you being in the club. That's all. I see. It's a pretty simple thing to get you in the good mood. But I guess it's always simple things with you anyways. I feel like you're actually saying that to me. Simple things. <laughs> the simple things in life. Speaking of which... <laughs> Convenient. I'm kind of hungry. Will you come with me to buy a snack? No thanks. Eh? That, that, that's not like you at all. I have my reasons. We don't... Wait. <laughs> Why don't we take a look at your purse, Sayori? Eh. Eh. You should never ask to look in someone's bag. Why that all of a sudden? No reason, really. I just wanted to look at it. So I can get my own. Uh... Sayori nervously retrieves her coin purse. Ah. She fumbles with the latch and gets it open. Then she turns it upside down and lets the contents spill onto the desk. Only two small coins fall out. He ate your Aww. sugar daddy, Sayori. <laughs> Thank you, Katie. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. I can see right through you, Sayori. That's not fair. How did you even know? Honestly, I am really Sayori. That's you. It's simple. If you had enough money in the first place, you would have bought the snack before coming to the club room. See, oh, so either you're not hungry and want an excuse to take a walk, or you planned it conveniently, planned to conveniently forget that you spent all your money so that I would lend you some. But there's one more thing. You're always hungry. And so that only leaves one option. Gotta speak up a little bit louder. Taco Senpai putting his foot down for once. <laughs> what? Be assertive. I give up. Don't make me feel guilty. If you feel guilty, that means you deserve to feel guilty. That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> Yuri suddenly giggles. Eh? I didn't notice she was listening in. Her face is in her book as always. Ah. I wasn't listening to anything. I was just something in my book. Yuri... Tell Ta Taco Senpai to let me borrow some money. I thought I was reading your part briefly. <laughs> That's... Don't get me involved like that, Sayori. Besides, you should only buy what you can responsibly afford. I've had that lecture so many times. And frankly, after pulling a mischievous little stunt like that, your suffering is fair enough retribution. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> ah... Did I just... I didn't mean... I didn't mean that. I got too absorbed into my book. Uh... Ah ha 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 ha! <laughs> <laughs> I really feel like... I really feel like when you speak your mind, Yuri... <laughs> it doesn't happen much. But it's a fun, but it's a fun side of you. That's there's no way you could think that. You were right though. I did something bad, and now I have to accept the revolution. Retribution. <laughs> wow. Viva <laughs> the revolution. I have to put my arm down a little bit. Up is a little bit worse for me. That. 
Still coming from your still come still coming from you, Sayori. I guess there's a little devil inside all of us, isn't there? Ugh. <laughs> Don't let her fool you. Sayori knows exactly what she's doing. After all, she told you guys she was bringing me to the club before she even told me. But, but, you wouldn't have come if it weren't for the cupcakes. That's true. So I had to trick Natsuki into making them. Come on, give me more credit than that, Sayori. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Pwap. Whoa, what was that? Whoa. Yeah. Out of nowhere, uh, someone somebody... smacks Sayori in the face and doubles onto the desk. What? That's, that's messed up. <laughs> Ow! What was... Eh? A, a cookie? Sure enough, it's a giant cookie wrapped in plastic. Suri glances around. It, is that a miracle? <laughs> it's because I paid my restitution. Retribution. God, she's so dead. <laughs> Revolution! <laughs> Actually, that one's all that one almost worked. I was just gonna give it to you. But then I heard you blab about the cupcakes. It was totally worth seeing your reaction though. <laughs> N Natsuki, that's so nice of you. I'm so happy. Tiri because hugs I'm the happy. cookie. <laughs> Why would you hug a cookie with your mouth? Because maybe? it's a giant cookie. You know, I could use actually a cookie. A cookie. Jeez, <laughs> uh. just eat it. Sorry, rapidly. Blah 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 blah. Tears open the wrapper and takes a big <laughs> bite. <laughs> So <laughs> wait, so good. <laughs> mm. Sayori suddenly clasped her hands over her mouth. I bit my tongue. <laughs> Who didn't silence their phone during this? Me. We are professionals. I'm sorry. I said a lot over just one cookie. <laughs> This is my first stream. This is your second stream. Apparently I take a bite of my own cookie. Ah, yours looks really good too, Natsuki. Can I try it? Jeez. Oh wait, Jeez. that's not me. <laughs> Sorry. Jeez! <laughs> Sorry! Jesus. <laughs> but yours is chocolate! Yeah, why do you think I gave you that one? Oh my god, Discord, shut up. Fine. I still I'm really happy that you're sh that you shared this one with me. <laughs> Suri gets out of her seat and goes behind Natsuki, then wraps her arms around her. Ah, jeez. Oh, I get it, I get it. Sorry, I had to brief it. Cookie's still in hand. Natsuki reaches up and nudges Sayori off her. Mm. Sayori suddenly leans down and takes a bite of Natsuki's cookie. <laughs> hey! Did you seriously just do that? I would do that. I would too. <laughs> I and would I, do that. And I feel like if I did that to Kat, I would be punched. Um, that might be a, a slap. I wouldn't punch you over a cookie. Slap her with a cookie? A Maybe. giant cookie? Maybe. Right Ooh. in the face. <laughs> Ooh. Mouthful, Sayori <laughs> trots away to safety. I just imagine now what also. Trots in a classroom. Trot, trot, trot. I just feel like in that scene, like, you know how in animes when someone's like laughing and crying in fear and they're running in slow mo? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I feel like that's what's happening right now. Yuri and I laugh as well. Jeez, you're such a kid sometimes. Monica, can you tell Sayori? Eh? Natsuki glances around. Monica isn't in the classroom. Ugh. 
So where is Monica anyway? Good question. Have any of you heard anything about her being late today? Not me. Yeah, I haven't either. Hmm. That's a bit unusual. I hope she's okay. Of course she's okay. She probably just had something to do today. She's pretty popular after all. Eh? You don't think she she has a <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. She's probably more desirable than all of us combined. <laughs> That's true. I don't know, Chrissy. We're pretty free ourselves. <laughs> Excuse me? Suddenly the door swings open. S sorry! I'm super sorry! This is why we need- <laughs> I wish- I feel like this is something Ben would do really well. <laughs> no! No! Alright, sorry to interrupt. Sorry! I'm super sorry. Ah, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Eh? Monica, Monica chose the club over her boyfriend after all. You're so strong-willed. But boyfriend? <laughs> what on earth are you talking about? Monica quizzically glances at me. Uh, never mind that. What held you up anyways? Ah! Uh. Well, my last period today was study hall. To be honest, I kind of just lost track of time. Remember <laughs> 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 well, that you got lightheaded last time. I'm oh, starting yeah. to get lightheaded again. So. What? I read my line. Oh. <laughs> it's gonna be like, <laughs> what? Doesn't it make sense. The bell ring at least. I was gonna say, if that made no sense, it's probably because I'm going like, and then exasperating my my voice. <clears throat> I'm not. I must not have heard it since I was practicing piano. Piano. <laughs> piano. <laughs> piano. <laughs> I wasn't aware you played music as well, Monica. Ah, uh, I don't really. I just kind of started recently. I've always wanted to learn piano. 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 <laughs> That's so cool. You should play something for us, Monica. That's... Monica looks at me. <laughs> Maybe once I get a little better, I will. Yay! You know we have to do one, two, three. Yay! Yay! <laughs> that sounds cool. I'd also look forward to it. Is that so? Let me a saw. <laughs> In that case, I will let you down, Taco Senpai. Oh, <laughs> Monica smiles sweetly. <laughs> uh, I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. Ah, don't. Ah. <laughs> 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 Don't worry about it. <laughs> I've been practicing a whole lot recently. And I'd really love the chance to share share once I'm ready. I see. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. For the record, we are, or at least I am, looking at the chat. I'm just kind of letting it go at the moment. I'm also looking at the chat. So, we know you're still there, <clears throat> So, I didn't miss anything, did I? Not, not really. I chose to leave out Sayori's mischievous escapade. Escapade. Escapades? Escapade. Escapade. Escape. Escape. Uh, must, must be Italian. <laughs> must be Italian. <laughs> I'm sure Nozuki will end up complaining to her anyways. It looks like everyone has, to, has already settled down. Sayori somehow already finished her entire cookie. Yuri is back to her book, and Natsuki disappeared into the closet. Mm. Kinky. 
Mm. <laughs> uh, she's really in the curious. closet. <laughs> I'm really curious to talk to Yuri a little bit more. But at the same time, I would feel bad for distracting her. I catch a glimpse of the cover of her book. It looks like the same book she lent to me. More than that, she seems to be in the first few pages. Ah! Crap. <laughs> I think she noticed me looking at her. She sneaks another glance at me. Our eyes meet for a split second. But it only makes her hide her face deeper in the book. Sorry. I was just spacing out. I muttered this, sensing I made her uncomfortable. Oh? It's fine. If I was focused, then I probably wouldn't have noticed in the first place. But I'm just rereading a bit of this, so... That's the book that you gave me, right? Mm-hmm. I want... Oh. I wanted to read, read. I wanted to reread some of it. Not for any particular reason. Sure. Okay. I think the only disturbing part is is like the book. Like that's really the only disturbing part of this whole thing. I want to read the book though, to be honest. Like a lot of people are saying that it that that book is like a clue to like the next game they're making. Hmm. I have no idea what they're talking about. Just be curious. Just be curious. I'm what, curious. What What are the books about? Uh, well, when I- Oh, why did I buy two books? Why did you buy two books? Well, when I stopped at the bookstore yesterday, uh, that's not what I meant. I mean, I just happened to buy two of them. Ah, I see. A derp classic, this is a blind one, so we're not sharing uh, anything about this. There's something she's not telling me. But I decide to let it go. I'll definitely start reading it soon. <clears throat> I'm glad to hear. He hasn't. She. He hasn't started it yet. It's me. Once it starts to pick up, you might have to. You might have a hard time putting it down. It's a very engaging and relatable story. Is that so? What's it about? Well. Mm, Yuri closes the book and scans her eyes over the back. The book is titled Portrait of Markov. There's an honest looking eye symbol on the front cover. Mm. Is it still flipping? Yes. <coughs> All right. I just wanted to make sure I don't accidentally give anything away. Basically, it's about this girl in, hi in high school who moves, to a who moves in with her long lost younger sister. Ugh, I hate stories like that. But as soon as she does so, her life gets really strange. She gets targeted by these people who escaped from a human experiment prison. And while her life is in danger, she needs to desperately choose who to trust. No matter what she does, she ends up destroying most of her relationships and her life starts to fall apart. That's kind of... that's kind of dark, isn't it? Yuri made it sound like it's going to be a nice story, so that dark turn came from nowhere. Let me make sure this okay, it's still plugged in. <laughs> Yuri gently giggles all of a sudden. Creepy. And are you not a fan of this sort of thing, Taco Senpai? No, it's not that. I mean, I can definitely enjoy those kind of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri is into those things. She's so shy and reclusive on the outside, and her mind seems to be completely different. Sorry, I'm just trying to get comfortable. These chairs are so uncomfortable. It's just that those kinds of stories, they challenge you to look at, to look at life from a strange new perspective. When horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be evil, but because they have their own goals and their own or their own philosophies that they believe in. Okay, so, I mean, by that logic, every dictator in the world would, would, would kind of be, like, not considered evil. I mean, they are. They are. But, like, by that kind of logic, that would basically have them believe they're kind of benevolent dictators. Well, it's always the quiet right. ones. Then, suddenly, when you thought you related to the protagonist, they're, they're made out to be be the naive one for letting their one-sided morals interfere with the villain's plans. I'm I'm rambling, aren't I? Yes. Not again. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. 
Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well, I guess it's alright then. But I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. When I let things like the book and writing, like books and writing fill my thoughts, I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. And please stop me if I start talking too much. That's... I really don't think you need to worry. I actually said, please forgive me if I start talking too much to, like, the new, to the new kid at work today. Aww. That just means you're passionate about reading. <laughs> at least I can do... The least I can do is listen. It is literature... Li li club, li 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 literature after club. After <laughs> I can't worry. This word. is one of those blooper reels. <laughs> um, that's... Well, that's true. In fact, I might as well get started reading it, right? Katie's comment, why do I get the feeling Yuri has Yandere, like, potential? Ooh. Passionist taco senpai. Uh, it's always All right, a, sorry, continue. It's always a quiet one. She reminds me of you know from uh, Future Diaries. Oh, I might as well. No, no. I might start read reading. <laughs> you, you don't have to. Uh, what are you saying? Just the moment ago, you said you were looking forward to it. Hmm. Let me just get the book. I quickly retrieved the book and put it into my bag. That I oh, that I had put into my bag. All right, it's fine if I sit here. I slip into the seat next to Yuri's. Uh, yeah. Are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. Apprehensive? Apprehensive. That's... <laughs> I can't Sorry. do big words! It's not that I don't want Sorry. you to. It's just that's something I'm not very used to. Boy sitting next to you? <laughs> that, you go to a co-ed school. That is reading in company with oh, someone. I see. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. Alright. I open the book and start to the, start the prologue. I can... Blah, blah, blah. I soon understand. Sorry, I just had one of those moments where I couldn't read. <laughs> I soon understand what Yuri means about reading in company. I can feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not Mr. particularly Queen, bad thing. Right behind you. <laughs> Maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Yuri is in the corner of my eye. That's creepy. I realize that she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over. It looks like she's reading from my book instead. Ah. Also, sorry about that sound. Um, I just knocked over a fork. S sorry. Can you just start hanging the airbag? I I was just. You're right. You're really apologizing, apologizing a lot, don't you? I just can't read it. I can't. I can't. It's one of those days. <laughs> I, uh, I do. I understand that feel. I don't really mean to. Sorry. I mean... <laughs> Here, this should work, right? I slide my desk until it's up against Yuri's and hold my book more between the two of us. Aww. Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. Just, just the, the two, two of us. us. You and I. Ah. That was really uncomfortable. <laughs> I suppose so. <laughs> Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Once we lean in in a little bit, our shoulders are almost touching. <laughs> Feels like my left arm is in, <laughs> in the way. Oh. I guess that makes it difficult to turn the page. Here. <gasps> Ooh. Yuri takes her left arm arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and forefinger. Uh, I do the same with my right arm on the right side of the book. That way I turn a page and Yuri slides under her thumb after it flips, holding it like this. We're huddled even closer than before. For the warmth. <laughs> I'm actually kind of distracted. Feels warm. I feel the warmth of Yuri's face. She's the corner of my vision. Are you ready? Eh? To turn the page. Oh. Uh, sorry. I think I got a bit distracted for a second. I glance Jeez. over at Yuri's face again, and our eyes meet. I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. Ah. Uh, 
That's okay. You're not used to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. It's probably the least I can do. Since you've been so patient with me. Yeah. Thanks. We continue reading. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume she finishes the page before me, so I turn on my own. We continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. I'm really <laughs> uncomfortable now. <laughs> my thumb gently letting go of the page, letting it flutter over her side as she catches it under her own thumb. Hey, Yuri. This might be a silly thought, but... The main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. Y you think so? How does she? Well, I guess she's more blunt in a lot of ways. But she also second guesses all of the things that she says and does. Like she's afraid she'll do something wrong. It's not like I can see into your head or anything. But they kind of reminisce of some of your ma mannerisms. I, I see. Ooh. Yuri remains silent for a moment. But Taco-senpai, that's probably a terrible thing to have in common with her. Uh, that's so embarrassing that you think that. Wait! I didn't mean it in a bad way or anything. Sorry, I really didn't know you were self-conscious about that sort of thing. Who wouldn't be self-conscious about that kind of thing? I know, he just pointed it out. I, I guess to point out one of your flaws for a second here. <laughs> You're already uncomfortable. Oh, Let me make it worse. I guess I more meant that it's kind of cute. Ah. Uh, what are you saying all of a sudden? I... Okay, everyone. Huh? I think it's about time we share today's poems with each other. Monica just cut blocked. I yeah. know. We might not have enough time if we wait too long. Ah. Yuri exhales, spared from finishing her thought. Is that all right, Yuri? You look kind of down. <laughs> Downward dog. Oh, gosh. I'm sorry if I haven't been looking forward to this. If you haven't been looking forward to this. Uh, it's not. It's fine. Yuri releases her hand from her book, causing it to close on top of my thumb. Ah! Alright. I guess I'll do some more reading tonight. Or would you prefer I only read it with you? Um, I guess I don't have much of a preference either way. Hmm. In that case, I'll read a little more tonight. <laughs> It'll be more fun to read you read with you after it picks up a bit, you know? I love what Katie just wrote. I always forget about the deep voice, and it gets me every time. <laughs> and Matt said, at Katie, same. That's good reasoning. In that case, feel free to finish the first two chapters in your own time. All right. I stand up. I have homework as well. That <laughs> sucks. Yeah, homework and extra homework for Literature Club. I make a mental note of where I left off on the book, and slip it back into my bag. Do you even use a bookmark or anything? I'm impressed. Uh, who do you want to do, Chrissy? Um, we'll do Monica well, last. Uh, does this chat have a preference yeah. as well? Bing, bing, bing. Bing, bing, bing. Clingy, bing, 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 bitchy, bing, 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 bing. or somewhat disturbing. Or somewhat disturbing? Alright, how about Black Hole Stomach, uh, Too Cutesy, Little disturbing and cock block. That's that's what the options are now. It makes a little noise when you. <laughs> well, Monica's gonna be last. We've already decided that. So Maybe you just go down the list in order. Says Katie. Suggests Katie because there's a question mark. Also up to Chrissy. Oh uh, yeah, we'll start with Sayori. All right. Why not? Ooh, I like this one, Taco Senpai. It has some nice feelings in it. Uh, I'm glad. Still though, your tone makes it sound like you liked yesterday's poem better. <laughs> I guess you caught me. Sometimes you know me a little too well for my own good. 
Well, don't just try to be nice about it. If I'm doing a bad job, then I'd rather hear you hear just hear it. No, no. I still like this one. I promise. Lies. I, you know, I wouldn't lie to you, Taco Senpai. Never ever. Yeah, I guess so. What made yesterday's poem so great compared to this one, then? Um. Well, I'm not very good at figuring out if poems are good or bad. But that's why I just go by my heart. If it makes you makes me feel things, then it must be a good poem. I'm not sure that's exactly how it works. Then again, I guess conveying feelings is a pretty important part of the whole thing. Yeah, maybe. Honestly, I don't even know what kind of writing you like in the first place. Yeah. Me neither. Ugh. Ugh. Didn't she just lie about the coin thing, though? True, Natalie. True. She's such a liar. No, I'm just kidding. Why don't you at least try to give it some thought? Aw, you want to write something for me? That's so sweet. Now you have time to work. Busted, says Katie. Yeah, right. But you're always thinking about other people. You need to think about yourself once in a while. If you don't, you might end up getting hurt at some point. Eh? Well, I don't really know what you mean, but I'll keep- but I'll try to keep it in mind. Well, whatever. Anyway, let's see. Hmm. I guess I like happy poems. Wait, sometimes I like sad poems, too. Sometimes a little bit of both. <laughs> There's a word for that, right? Smappy. <laughs> oh no, that's mad. Um, if only there was a word for being I passive. I mean, technically you could say sappy because that is a combination of sad and happy. If only mm -hmm. there is a way for a word for aggressive while being passive. Nicey meanie? Nicey meanie? <laughs> that's a line from Parks and Rec. <laughs> What's the word I'm looking for? Bittersweet. Mm, like chocolate chips? Yeah. I like things that are happy and things that are sad. Happy- oh. Oh, happy and sad? I can't see liking something sad, Sayori. Well, I like happy the most. But sometimes when you have a little rain cloud in your head, <laughs> a sad poem can help give the rain cloud a little hug and make it a nice happy rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> Sayori, <laughs> Sayori, that's unexpectedly poetic. That's true. Eh? It is? Yes. Maybe I'm getting better at expressing my feelings after all. Thanks, Taco Senpai. Thanks, Taco Senpai. <laughs> I should go write that down then. You can read my poem now, okay? Okay. Ugh. There's more Bottles. Time. I pop off my scalp like the lid of a cookie jar. The secret place where I keep all my dreams. Little balls of sunshine all rubbing together like a bundle of kittens. I reach inside with my thumbs and forefingers and pluck one out. It's warm and tingly, but there's no time to waste. I put it in a bottle to keep it safe. And I put the bottle on the shelf with all of the other bottles. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts in a bottle. In bottles all in a row. Oh. My collection makes me lots of friends. Each bottle of starlight to make amends. Sometimes my friends feel a certain way. Down comes a bottle to save the day. Night after night, after night more dreams. Friend after friend more bottles. Deeper and deeper my fingers go. Like exploring a dark cave. Discovering the secrets hiding in the nooks and crannies. Digging and digging. Scraping and scraping. I blow dust off. My bottle caps. It doesn't feel like time, like time elapsed. My empty shelf could use some more. My friends, my friends look through my locked front door. Finally, all done. I open up and in come my friends. In they come in such a hurry. Do they want my bottle that much? I frantically pull them from the shelf, one after the other, holding them out to each and every friend, each and every bottle. But every time I let one go, it shatters against the tile between my feet. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts in shards all over the floor. They were supposed to be for my friends, 
My friends who my friends who aren't smiling. They're all shouting, pleading, something. But all I hear is echo, 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 <laughs> echo inside my head. That is deep. Holy crap. I'm Sayori. Sayori, did you really write this? Of course I did. Didn't I tell you yesterday I was going to write the best poem ever? Yeah, but... I mean, I didn't expect something like this coming from you. I offended. Monica taught me a whole lot. And I've really been in touch with my feelings recently. I see that. It's almost kind of creepy. Creepy? Well, not exactly. Maybe because I'm used to you being so cheerful. Well, never mind. I'm thinking too hard about this. The point is it came out good and you should be proud of it. Aw, thanks. I feel like... I feel like I was meant to express myself this way. It even helps me understand my own feelings a little bit better. Writing is like magic. It is. True, You've gotten though. pretty passionate about this, huh? I hope you keep it up. Yeah! Writing's the best. I'm gonna keep writing until I die. <laughs> <laughs> Don't oh. get ahead of yourself. <laughs> See? <laughs> <laughs> Sayori always had a habit of getting obsessed with something before dropping it no more than a week later. I wonder if this is one of those things. Oh, times. But seeing the passion in her eyes makes it hard for me to be per pessimistic. Pessimistic? Pessimistic. Pessimistic? Matsuki. Alright. Oh no, it's me. <laughs> Thanks, Katie. I'm going to the bathroom. Hmm. Charlie will be back. I'll bring cookies. We can just also. continue or without her. Trailer. Okay. I'll get to try the voices now. Ha ha ha. Well, I'm reading <laughs> Finatsuki oh, and you're Taco Senpai, and no one else is showing up for this section, so. I'm wearing two different headphones, too. Okay. Alright. I already said, hmm, just so you know. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not really any worse than your last one. I can't really say it's any better, either. Phew! Huh? Phew, what? Uh, well, anything that isn't a train wreck, I'll take as a win. <laughs> and I get that feeling you're pro- Train wreck. <laughs> I don't know why I can't speak. <laughs> uh, I get the feeling you're probably the most critical. Hey, what makes you- Wait, maybe that was a compliment? <laughs> Glad to see someone recognizes my experience. Well then, keep practicing and maybe you'll be as good as me someday. <laughs> That's, uh... Something tells me Tsuki completely missed the point. Come to think of it, this kind of reminds me of Sayori's poem from yesterday. Eh, you think so? Yeah, well I guess if you've been friends with her for so long, you might be on the same wavelength. But you never really struck me as her type. Sayori has a type all of a sudden? Well, I don't know. And someone so... Uh, fluffy spends so much time with someone like you. It's like she's dragging around a dead weight. Wow, this girl is so mean! <laughs> uh, that, <laughs> that was a little unnecessary. But I think of it this way. If it weren't for me, she would probably be just flying away like a little, like letting go of a balloon. Hashtag ouch. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. You could say we, we take, we each take care of each other in our own way. Whatever it is, I don't get it. Oh yeah, I guess I'm supposed to show you my poem. Here. Am I reading the poem, or are you? Um, you can read it if you'd like. Alright. I can read this one, so let's go for it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Amy likes spiders. <laughs> you know what? I heard about Amy. Amy likes spiders. Icky, wriggly, hairy, ugly spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. Okay, then. Amy so has a cute pretty. singing voice. I heard her singing my favorite love song. Every time she sang the chorus, my heart would pound to the rhythm of the words. But she likes spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. That's not a good reason! 
One time I hurt my leg really bad. Amy held me up and took me to the nurse. I tried not to let her touch me. She likes spiders, so her hands are probably gross. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a lot of friends. I always see her talking to me. She probably talks about spiders. What if her friends start to like spiders too? That's why I'm not friends with her. It doesn't matter if she has other hobbies. It doesn't matter if she keeps it private. It doesn't matter if it doesn't hurt anyone. It's gross. She's gross. The world is better off without spider lovers. And I'm gonna tell everyone. <laughs> wow. This bitch. Alright. Not mad, right? Bitch? It's quite a bit longer than yesterday's. Yesterday's was way too short. I was just warming up. I hope you didn't think that was the best I could do. No, of course not. Anyway, the message is pretty straightforward in this poem. I doubt I have to explain it. Sometimes you can explain complicated issues with much simpler analogies. And it helps people realize how stupid they're being. Like, anyone would agree that the subject of this poem is an ignorant jerk. Do you know people like that? Of course. It's not how everyone thinks my... That doesn't matter. It can be about anything. I wrote it to be easy to relate to. Everyone has some kind of weird hobby. Or a guilty pleasure. Or kink. Or kink. <laughs> Something that you're afraid of. If people f Afraid if people find out, they'd make fun of you or think less of you. Definitely a kink. Kink, <laughs> please. But that just makes people stupid. Who cares what someone likes, as long as they're not hurting anyone. It makes them happy. I think people really need to learn to respect others for liking weird things. Well, you're definitely right. At least I can relate to that. And I'm sure a lot of people can too. It's what I do best, after all. Hashtag don't kink shame. Thank you, Nat. Yes. I don't like writing unless there's a good message to take away from it. Like, conveying emotions is important. Mm -hmm. But I want to make people think, not just feel. We just went over Amy likes spiders. Oh, you missed the best poem ever. Oh, here's my coat. Remember that. I'm gonna write a good one for tomorrow, too, so look forward to it. I so I come in just in time? Yep. I'm just gonna get Charlotte. Set. So, I'm just gonna point this out, if you guys can see my shirt. It says, to stream or to dream? That is the question. Why not? Both. I do both. You sleep while you stream? Not a while. I don't I didn't say I do both at the same time. And you can dream without being asleep. That's why it's called daydreaming. <laughs> Yuri. Oh, you got food in your mouth. <laughs> I'm, I'm kinda glad bit. you dropped the Mickey Mouse voice though. What? The Mickey Mouse. We were doing like the Mickey Mouse voice yesterday. Remember? Let's see if I can remember. Let's see what you've written for today. <laughs> hmm. Oh boy! Yuri stares at the poem with a surprised expression on her face. Do you like it? Taco Senpai, how did you pick up on this so quickly? Just yesterday, I was telling you the kind of te the kind of techniques worth practicing. Maybe that's why you did a good job explaining. I really wanted to try to give it more imagery. Yuri visibly swallows. Gulp. Red jam's all in cookies, so. Even her hands you appear suck. sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> you suck, really. You swallow. <laughs> <laughs> you got like a crumb on your leg. Mm. I'm not used to this. Used to what? I don't know. It's fine. Take your time. Yuri breathes and collects her thoughts. I know that Yuri likes to think before she speaks, so I offer that patience to her. Yeah! Hey, RJ, welcome to the stream. Yo, RJ. 
Remember, this is a blind stream, people. Just a friendly reminder. Just being appreciated like this, I guess. It probably sounds really stupid. But seeing something, seeing someone motivated by my writing, it just makes me really happy. You make me happy. <laughs> Are you really saying five ever, says Katie. Five ever, oh my gosh. Are you saying you've never shared your writing before? Yuri nods. Really? I don't believe it. I really only write for myself. And you are not and in high school, Besides, people would just laugh at me. Do you really think that? Again, Yuri nods. Huh. Even your close friends? Hmm. Yuri doesn't respond to that. I wonder why. Anyway, do you want to share the poem you wrote today? Yeah! What is your reaction to the Mickey voice? Please stop. <laughs> <laughs> No, Miss Minda! How <laughs> I? I don't know who you are, but no! <laughs> Minda is one of Katie's sisters. Hi, one of Katie's sisters. <laughs> I do. If it was, if it's with you. Ooh. Although I can't read in this voice. The raccoon. Her handwriting. <laughs> the raccoon. It happened in the dead of night while I was slicing my bread for a guilty snack. My attention was caught by the scuttering of a raccoon outside my window. That was, I believe, the first time I noticed my strange tendencies as an unordinary human. I gave the raccoon a piece of bread, my subconscious well aware of the consequences. Well, aware of the raccoon that's fed with, that is fed will always come back for more. The enticing beauty of my cutting knife was the symptom. The bread, my hungry curiosity. The raccoon... An urge? An urge. The moon increments its phase and reflects that much more light of and reflects that much more light off of my cutting knife. The very same light that glistens in the eyes of my raccoon friend. Raccoon. Raccoon. I had to fight I had to kick. I had to fight off some raccoons. Of <laughs> <laughs> my raccoon friend. I slice the bread fresh and soft. The raccoon becomes excited. Or perhaps I'm merely projecting my emotions on the, onto the newly satisfied animal. The raccoon has taken to following me. You could say that we've gotten quite used to each other. The raccoon becomes hungry more and more frequently, so my bread is always handy. Every time I brandish my cutting knife, the raccoon shows me its excitement. A rush of blood. Classic Pavlovian conditioning. I slice the bread. I feed myself again. Wow. Um... I was a little more daring with this one than yesterday's. I can see that. <laughs> it's a lot more metaphorical. I don't know if that if it's my fault, but I can't begin to imagine what this poem is about. That's right. It's a bit close, closer to my preferred writing style. Using the poem as a canvas to express vivid imagery and conveying emotions through them. Yeah, if I take it face value, then I can't even figure out what it's supposed to mean. Alright, I have to stop the Mickey voice because it's really hurting my throat. That's fine. Well, I think it's something that different people can relate to in their own way. I want to express the way I feel for, for me to indulge in my more unusual hobbies. It's those sorts of things I, I'm usually forced to keep to myself, so I sometimes enjoy writing about them. Huh, that's funny. Hmm? Didn't Natsuki always also write something about that? About someone being ridiculed for strange interest? Eh? Yes, I did. She, she did? Yeah, suspicious. She's talking about how it doesn't matter what you're into as long as you're not hurting anybody. She, she's right. I, I mean... She probably really feels that way. Yeah. Sounds like you two have that in common. That's, well, that's interesting. To me, she seemed like the kind of person who would make fun of my hobbies. But I suppose it's my fault for judging, isn't it? Ah, uh, please don't tell her I said that. I will. <laughs> don't worry, I have no reason to. 
blackmail. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you for sharing it with me. After all, if I hadn't learned to embrace my own weirdness, I would probably hate myself. I might be ranting a little bit now, but I'm glad there's that you're that you're a good listener. Monica, can you read for Monica for a little bit? I've sent a text. Sure. I'll be talking to myself. I can read for Monica if you want. Can it's you okay. do the voice? Hi again, Taco Senpai. I like Chrissy. How's that writing going? I I'm all right, I guess. Again, actually. <laughs> <laughs> it's a learned skill. Learned a dead skill. I'll take that. As long as it's not going bad. I'm happy that you're applying yourself. Maybe soon you'll come up with a masterpiece. Let me smash. Uh. <laughs> I wouldn't count on that. Monica smash. Monica smash. You never know. <laughs> you want to share what you write what you wrote for today? Sure. Here you go. I give my poem to Monica. All right. Great job, Taco Senpai. I was going Ooh, in my head while reading it. <laughs> it's really metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. Like my voice. I guess I underestimated you. It's easiest for me to keep everyone's expectations low. That way, it always come. It always counts when I put in my in some effort in my efforts. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> that's not very fair. <laughs> well, I guess it worked anyway. You know that Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? <laughs> writing that's full of imagery and symbolism. Unlike Sayori who likes using simple and direct words to describe happiness and sadness. Hey, Chrissy. I'm just a sweet chance. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my god, I, I feel like I need to have like a slightly higher pitch and better tone of voice when I'm trying to imitate Tim Curry's uh, Dr. Frankenverter. Yuri likes it when... Yuri likes it when Ooh. readers are left to derive their own meaning out of it. It's very challenging to write like that effectively for fast, effective relief. relief. <laughs> Both allowing people to get something out of it just by feel or letting them deeply and deeply <laughs> analyze it, all of the nuances. It can take years of practice, but I assume Yuri has at this point. I never really ask, though. I'm sure I'm nowhere near her level yet. Don't worry so much about it, that. You do know one thing. I have to just talk like that. I can't do exact. exact well, you do your own thing. Just keep exploring and learning by new, trying new things. But anyway, you want to read my poem now? I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. You read the poem. All right. Let's well, take a look. open door is still freaking me out. I don't like the closet being open. Me neither. Closet's door shouldn't be open. They should be closed for now. Save me. Ooh. The colors, they won't stop. Bright, beautiful colors. Flashing, expanding, piercing. Red, green, blue, and endless... What is that? Cacophony. Cacophony. Does that have anything to do with cocaine? Of meaningless no. noise. Cacoph it's either cacophony or cacophony. I've heard both. It means a lot of noise. The noise, it won't stop. Violent, grating waveforms, squeaking, screeching, piercing, sine, cosine, tangent, like playing a chalkboard on a turntable, like playing a vinyl on a pizza crust. An endless poem of meaninglessness. Wow, endless page. Load me. <laughs> lead me? Oh, no, it's load me. L O A D. Load? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hmm. 
Hmm. And lead. It's it's kind of hard to read the, some of the text on the screen share. No, it's load. It's definitely yeah. It said load. Is there anything in her file? Hmm. I should probably check. Uh. Let's date modified. What time is it? Ten fifty-five. I don't think so. Okay, well, wouldn't it be in her character folder? They're literally not fo folders, they're just oh. character files. Um. Oh, how weird. Okay. Um. Ow. Saves. Australia. Hello from the East Coast. <laughs> Hi. Welcome to the stream. Just a heads up that uh, one of our players is doing a blind run through. So, and this is our first playthrough of the game. Um, so we're, we're still in the basics of the game right now. Woohoo. Where are we? We've just finished going over the uh, second poem reading thing. We're, we're currently trying to go after Yuri, right? Is that what the plan is? Uh, I have no idea. Okay, because our poems seem to be leaning towards her a little bit, but I wasn't sure if that was on purpose, or... No, we just, just randomly chose We randomly chose dark words because we have dark souls. Okay, if you can't find anything, then there probably isn't anything to open. Uh, yeah, probably. I mean, the load me kind of, like, had me think, but I might be wrong. Um, actually, I have, like, one more thing on here. I like the music a lot. Yeah, it probably, there probably is nothing. Right. Hmm. It's even more abstract than your last one, huh? Oh my gosh. Yes. <laughs> that scared me. <laughs> I guess it's just the way I write. I'm sorry if you don't like it. No, I never said that. It's just a kind of thing I've never really seen before, I guess. Oh, it's part of the poem. I kind of like playing with the space of on the paper. Choosing where how to choosing where and how to space your words. I can, can totally change the mood of the poem. It's almost like magic. Magic. Donnie says vacuum. <laughs> the way I write the lines, short makes it feel like they're trying to speak over the noise. I see. If it's still hard, f wait, it's still hard for me to tell what it's about, though. <sighs> Sometimes asking what a poem is about isn't the right question. A poem can be abstract as a physical expression of a feeling or a conversation with the readers. So putting it that way, not every poem is about something. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Okay, I have to speak with this in a normal voice. Sometimes you'll, you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. <laughs> you never know when you might change your mind. Or when something unexpected may happen. Wait, is this tip even about writing? What am I even talking about? <laughs> <laughs> That's my advice for today. 
Thanks for listening. This has been WBQB, The Berg. <laughs> okay, everyone. We're all done reading today's each other's poems, right? Right. I have something extra sp- extra planned today, so if everyone could come sit in the front of the room. Is this about the festival? Well, sort of. Ugh, do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we can put together anything good in just a few days. We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. That, that's a concern of mine as well. I don't really do well with last minute preparations. Don't worry so much. We're going to keep it simple, okay? We don't need much more than a few de- than a few decorations. Sayori has been working on posters, and I've designed some pamphlets so we can give them out during the event. Okay, that's great and all, but that doesn't tell us what we're actually going to be doing for the event. Oh, sorry. I thought you heard about it already. We're going to be performing. Ooh. Performing? Puh. Um, Monica? Yeah, we're going to have a- we're going to be having a poetry performance. Each of us are going to choose a poem to recite during the event. And Taku Senpai will be doing the bongos. <laughs> but the cool part is, we're also going to let anyone else come up and recite poems to you. To who? <laughs> Sayori's putting it on all the posters in case anyone wants to prepare ahead of time. <laughs> Sayori, who's been coloring a poster, hold it up for us to see. Are you kidding me, Monica? You didn't you didn't already start putting those posters up, did you? Eh, well, I did. Do you really think it's that bad of an idea? Well, no. Not a bad idea. But I didn't sign up for this, you know. There is no way I'm going to be performing in front of a group of people like that. I agree with Natsuki. I can never in my life do something like that. Imagining it, Yuri shakes her head in fear. Guys! No, Sayori. I understand where they're coming from. Remember that Natsuki and Yuri have never shared their poems till any with anyone till just a couple days ago. It's a lot of it's a lot to ask them to <laughs> recite their poems out loud to a, a whole room full of people. Sounds like you're dying. <laughs> you can tell in my tip for anybody in the chat. This kind of shit does not keep you in charge of a club. It's how a coup happens. Yeah. Yes. I feel like Kat and I can both testify to that. Yes. (laughs) Flashbacks. The war War flashbacks. flashbacks. I guess I kind of overlooked that. So, I'm sorry. But... I still think we should give it our best. We're the only ones responsible for the fate of this club. If we start the event and put each put on a good performance, then it will inspire. It will be the inspo for thousands. No. Um, and the more people who perform, the better we'll be able to show everyone what literature is all about. It's a- <laughs> Can you see Katie's comment? Katie, I do. I'm probably gonna have to put a pause in it for about like maybe 15 minutes to 30 minutes. Yeah. It's about expressing your feelings. Being intimate with yourself. Ooh. Thank you. <laughs> Finding new horizons. And having fun. Isn't hard when you got a library card. <laughs> That's right. And those reasons that we're all in this club today. It's hard for me to not do Monica's voice now. (laughs) 
we go into work like Tuesday and be like, hello, I am your <laughs> server today. How may I take your order? And my boss is going to look at me like I stroked. Um, don't you want to share that with others? To inspo them to find... <laughs> <laughs> inspo <laughs> To inspire them to we reduce ourselves to basic bitch levels. <laughs> to inspire oh, yes. to inspire Back them to find to inspire them to find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place. I know you do. I know you do. I know we all do. And if it takes, if it all it takes is standing in front of the room for two minutes and reciting a poem, then I know you can do it. Mitsuki and Yuri remain silent. Sayori looks worried. I guess that leaves me no choice. I agree. I don't think it's too much to ask. I think that Sayori and Monica have been trying really hard to get their new members. The least we can do is help them out a little bit. Well, maybe, but... It looks like Natsuki doesn't have an argument left. Uh... Okay, fine. I guess I'll just have to get it over with. All right. Phew. <laughs> Thanks, Atsuki. What about you, Yuri? Uh, Yuri dejectedly glances around at everyone else's expected faces. I can't glance at myself. Or a cat. Sigh. <laughs> I guess I really don't have a choice. <laughs> That's everyone. You're the best, Yuri. This this club is seriously going to be the death of me. Oh gosh. You'll be fine, Yuri. But anyway, let's move on to the main event. I want each of you to choose a poem of yours. We're going to practice for signing them in front of each other. No, no way. Oh. <laughs> I am so sorry. I'm like not in the right mind. Monica, this is too sudden. Well, if you can't recite the poem in front of the club, how do you expect to do it in front of strangers? Oh no. Don't worry. I'll start off to help everyone to feel a little more comfortable. Can I go next? Uh, of course. Now let's see. Monica flips through her notebook to a specific poem she has in mind for herself. She then stands behind the podium. The title of this poem is The Way They Fly. Ahem. Monica begins, Monica begins to recite her poem. Her clear, confident voice feels, fills the room. More than that, her inflection is pristine. She knows exactly how to apply emotion behind each line she recites, bringing the words to life. Is this something she's done before, or is she simply unnatural? I glance around me. Everyone has their eyes on Monica. Sayori looks amazed. Yuri has an intense expression on her face that I don't understand. Finally, Monica finishes the recite. Recitation. Recitation? Wow. I want to say recitation because <laughs> for some reason. The four of us applaud. Monica takes a breath and smiles. That that was so good, Monica. Uh, thank you very much. I was just hoping to set a good example. Are you ready to go next, Sayori? Uh, I'll go next. Ooh. Well, Yuri's all well, Yuri's all fired up. Yuri clutches a sheet of paper between her hands and stands up. Keeping her head down, she walks quietly over to the podium. This poem is called Yuri anxiously glances at each of us. You can you can do it, Yuri. It's called After Image of a Crimson Eye. Yuri's voice shakes as she starts to read the poem. Just a moment ago, she practically refused to do this. Why is she suddenly putting in so much effort? As Yuri gets past the first couple of lines, her voice changes. It's almost like what happened when Yuri gets absorbed in her books. 
her quivering words transform into a sharp syllables into the sharp syllables of a fierce and confident woman. Ooh, <laughs> this poem is full of twists and turns in a structure that she enunciates with perfect timing. This must be a rare glimpse into the whirling fire Yuri keeps concealed inside her head. Suddenly, she finished. Everyone is stunned. Yuri snaps back into reality and glances around her, as if she's bewildered even herself. I... It's up to me to save this situation. I'm the first to start applauding. Everyone joins me afterwards, and we give Yuri the recognition she deserves. I'm the judge. Slow clap. <laughs> it's not that we didn't want to applaud for her, but we were caught off. We were caught so off guard that we must have forgotten. As we applaud, Yuri holds the poem to her chest and rushes back to her seat. Yuri, that was really good. Thank you for sharing. Uh, Looks like Yuri is down for the count. Okay. I guess I'm next then. Suri hops out of her chair and cheerfully walks to the podium. This one's called My Meadow. Ah. <laughs> Sorry, I giggled. <laughs> Sayori. It's a lot harder than I thought. How did you guys do it so easily? Ah, try not to think of it like you're reciting to other people. Imagine you're reciting it to yourself, even in front of a mirror or in your own head. It's your poem, so it'll come out the best that way. I see, I see. Okay, then. Siori begins her poem. Somehow it feels like her soft voice was made, for, made as a perfect match. This poem isn't aimlessly cheering like Sayori is. It's serene and bittersweet. If I were to read this on paper, I probably wouldn't think much of it, but hearing it come from Sayori's voice almost gives it a whole new meaning. Maybe this is what Sayori meant when she said she likes my poems. It's like I get to reach more deeply in s into someone I thought I knew through and through. Sayori finishes, and we applaud. I did it! Good job, Sayori. <laughs> even Taco-senpai liked it. I guess that's a good sign. What does that even mean? It came out nicely, Sayori. The atmosphere of the poem fits you really nice, nicely, but it might be that the other poems wouldn't work quite as well with that kind of delivery. I, I don't really understand. In other words, I've seen poems of yours that were sort of gently, that were sort of gentle delivery. Blah, blah, blah. They might need a little more force behind them depending on what you're reading. Oh, I know what you mean. That's, well, I've been practicing that thing, kind of. It's just embarrassing to do in front of everyone. <laughs> the next, the next time I'm going, the next time I'm going to make you pick a poem that challenges you a little more. We don't have much time before the festival, you know. Okay. Now, who's next? Na Natsuki? Hmm. <laughs> Don't make me go before Taco Senpai. It's not like I can compare to you guys anyway. Might as well talk, let Taco Senpai roll where everyone stands just a little before I have to do it. Wow. wow. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> Tw <laughs> Twinsies. <laughs> Natsuki. It's fine. It's fine. I might as well get it over with. But it's not like I have much of a selection of what to read. I'll just have to go with what I wrote for today. I stand up and step in front of the podium. Everyone has their eyes on me, making me feel terribly awkward. <laughs> I recite my poem. <laughs> yes. Uh, Since I'm not exactly confident in my own writing, it's hard to put energy into it. Despite that, once I finish, I receive applause anyways. Sorry I'm not really as good as everyone else. Don't worry about it so much. I think it's less about your abilities and more about your lack of confidence in your writing. That's something that'll improve over time, though. Yeah, maybe. Excuse me. <laughs> Alright then. That just leaves you, Natsuki. Yeah, yeah. I'm going. 
Natsuki begrudgingly gets out of her seat and makes her way to the podium. Complimentary applause. Hey, cold. It's cold. Why are you looking at me? Because you're presenting. <laughs> anyway. Poem is called Jump. Natsuki takes a breath. Once she starts reciting her poem, her sour attitude disappears a little. While she's still a little un unenthused, her poem has a rhythm and rhyme to it. It's Natsuki's trademark style, and it works surprisingly well when spoken aloud. I just click a little heart. Oh, gross. <laughs> The words feel like they bounce up and down as if giving life to the poem. Atsuki finishes and everyone applauds. She huffs back to her seat. That wasn't so bad, was it? Easy for you to say. You better not make me do that again. Ah, well. Do you at least feel prepared enough to recite a poem in front of other people? I mean, doing it in front of other people will be way easier. I can put on whatever face I want for other people. But when it's just my friends, it's just embarrassing. That's a surprise, Natsuki. I think it'd be the other way around for me. Well, that's just how it is, so... Well, I guess in that case, you won't have much to worry about for the festival. That said, I want to thank everyone for coming through. It might be hard, but I hope that you all have an idea of what it's like now. Maybe you pick a poem and get enough practice before the festival, okay? I'll be making pamphlets, so let me know ahead of time what you'll be reciting. Jeez. I should probably find some other poem to recite instead. That's fine, too. It doesn't have to be your own. I'm already pleasantly surprised that you're putting in any in all this effort for the club. It makes me really happy. That skirt flip. <laughs> and her hair is kind of in her, her face. Oh. Uh, yeah, no problem. Long hair problems. Okay, everyone. I think that's about it for today. I know the festival is coming up, so let's try to write poems for tomorrow as well. It, it's been working out really nicely so far, so I'd like to continue that. As for the festival, we'll finish planning tomorrow, and then we'll have the weekend to prepare. Monday's the big day. I can't wait. I can do this. I can do this. All right. I stand up. There's no way I'll be able to find the same enthusiasm as Sayori and Monica, but I'll do my best. If it's for the sake of the club and impressing Monica, then I'll have to do my best. Ready to go, Sayori? Yep. Look at you two, always going home together like that. It's kind of adorable, isn't it? <laughs> Jeez, guys. Don't make such a big deal out of it. It must be a little nice, though. Well, uh, how am I supposed to respond to that? It's okay, Taco-senpai. You don't have to say it. Whatever. Let's go already. Be a I man. Accept your feelings. Accept my fate. I walk home with Sayori once more. Even though it's only been a few days, a lot of things have already changed. But today, Sayori is being a little quieter than usual on the way home. Hey, Sayori. Sorry, I'm just trying to fix this so it doesn't make loud boom. Loud boom. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Sorry, I was spacing out. Ah, no wonder. Um, I was thinking about something earlier. I like how we get to... I mean... Sayori fumbles with her words. So, let's just say that one day Yuri asked to walk home with you. Huh? What would you do? What kind of question is that? You're kind of putting me on the spot here. <laughs> what would you do, Chrissy? Hmm. Let's see. I would walk home with Sayori. Sayori. You really think I would ditch you for Yuri? Eh? B but she 
so beautiful and smart. Jeez. I already see her in the club every day. Besides, you always seem to really like going home together. I wouldn't just ruin that for you. You're so silly, Taka-senpai. You think about me too much sometimes. Yuri de would deserve it if she wanted to... If she wanted it, so... Say, Ori, I've already made up my mind. I really can't figure out, figure you out sometimes. Sorry. Besides, what's the point in speculating something that's never going to happen? Hmm. The conversation trails off. It's kind of a weird thing for Sayori to, say to care so much about, but I want to respect her and keep her happy too. Then again, the festival is only a few days away. Who knows, who knows what will happen? Chat says they'd walk home with Yuri. Oh, I'm uh. sorry. <laughs> all right we'll just alternate you me you me you me that's so long though you can just pick the first 10 and then i'll pick the next 10. fight actually unstable strawberry actually that was what i was gonna pick <laughs> captive inferno Ooh. destiny Nibble. keep pinky Universe. Really? Destiny, destiny. No escaping that book. Clumsy. Excitement. Beauty. Mirage. 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 Boop! <laughs> Boop! <laughs> um, how about graveyard? <laughs> doki doki! <laughs> doki doki! Lust. Emails. Papa. Papa, ocean. 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 <laughs> Candy. Candy. Desire. 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 Milk. <laughs> milk. Give me your milk. Ew. It's a lie. Uncontrollable. Why oh. the closet door always open? Aw, oh, man. I'm the last one here again. Don't worry, I just walked in too. You were practicing- Class prez. La you... Slacking. On the job. Were you practicing piano again? Three strikes and she quits. Well, yeah. Prez, not class, but you know, whatever. Uh -huh -huh -huh. You must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and now picking up piano? Well, maybe not determination. But I guess passion. Passion. Remember the Passion. Passion. Remember that the club wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. And I'm super happy that you're all willing to do willing to help out for the festival too. Yeah, I can't wait for the festival. It's gonna be great. Eh? Weren't you complaining about just yesterday, Natsuki? Well, yeah. I'm not talking about our part of the festival. It was a whole day of school where we get to play and eat all kinds of delicious food. Ooh. Hey, I wish, I'm in. I wish public schools here did that. Yeah. You sound a bit like Sayori all of a sudden. Monica, do they usually have fried squid? Mmm. <gasps> squid. Oh, that sounds really good, actually. Fried squid is. Oh, I love fried squid. That's a pretty specific thing to look forward to. Oh, come on. Are you saying you don't like squid? You? Of all people? Yeah, I didn't say I don't like it. Besides, what do you mean by you of all people? Night Nat, because! Bye Natalie! What's your name? Bye. Mon Ika. Oh, because Ika means squid in Japanese. <laughs> eh? Mm -hmm. That's not how you say my name at all. Also, that joke makes no sense in translation. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so tired. Ah, oh, never mind. Let's just focus on our own event for now, okay? <laughs> fine, fine. Your reactions aren't as fun as Yuri's or Sayori's anyway. Excuse me? Where's Sayori anyways? Oh, there you are. 
Sayori is sitting at the desk in the corner of the room looking down at nothing. I walk over to her. Hey, Sayori. I wave my hand in front of her face. Eh? You're spacing out again. Uh, uh, <laughs> sorry. Don't mind me. You can go talk to everyone else. Huh? Is everything alright? Uh, of course. Why wouldn't it be? It just feels like you're a little off. Sorry for assuming things. Jeez, you worry too much about me. I'm fine, see? Sori shows me a big smile. Creepy. Don't let me distract you from having fun with everyone. Well, alright. If you say so. I worriedly glance at Sayori before turning my back towards everyone else. But the conversation has already dispersed, with everyone's back to their usual activities. Maybe I should ask Monica if she noticed anything about Sayori recently. Since they've been preparing for the festival, they must have been spending a lot of time together. I timidly approach Monica, who is shuffling through some papers at her desk. Taku Senpai, what's up? Hey, this might sound a little strange, but have you noticed anything up with Sayori recently? Anything up with her? In what way do you mean? Maybe I'm reading into it a little too much, but she seems a bit downcast today. Oh, you think so? I can't say I've noticed anything about her. Monica peers across the room at Sayori, who is idly dragging a rubber eraser up and down her desk. I Maybe. know that feel. Oh, that's true. Maybe there is something on her mind. But I'm surprised I'm not the one asking you, Taco Senpai. You certainly know her a lot better than I do. Yeah, but she's never really like this. She's always talked to me about things that bothered her. But this time when I asked her, she was really dismissive. Sorry, I know it's not your problem. I just wanted to ask if you knew anything, so I'll drop it now. No, no. It's important to me, too. I mean, I'm also friends with her. And I also care about the well-being of my club members, you know? Maybe I'll try talking to her myself. Eh? Are you sure about that? She seemed like she wanted to be left alone. Are you sure? Maybe she just has a hard time bringing up with a person of interest. Person of interest? What do you mean by that? I'm saying that maybe the thing on her mind is you, Taco Senpai. Ooh. Me? How on earth would you come up to that conclusion? Well, I probably shouldn't say too much, but... Sayori talks about you more than anything else, you know. Eh? Oh, can you read what she means, you Taco? <laughs> She's been so much happier ever since you joined the club. It's like an extra light was turned on inside of her. What? No way. Sigori is always like that. Yeah. She's always been full of sunshine. It's not any different now than it's always been. <laughs> You're so funny, Taka Senpai. You're so funny. <laughs> Ugh. That felt that made me feel really uncomfortable. I know, I, I did that first year uncomfortable. Oh I'm trying I wanna see it pop up in the stream. I wanna see your face. Oh gosh. Oh my god. Your face is beautiful. Have you have you thought maybe you've always seen her so as so cheerful? Because that's just how she is when she's around you? Uh Uh, I said too much. I'm sorry. What do I know anyway? I didn't mean to jump to conclusions. So you should forget what about what I said. I'll try to talk to her. So try not to think about it so much. Ah. Uh, Alright. Monica smiles meaningfully. I know she said to forget about it, but I already know that I won't be able to get her words out of my head. Monica stands up from her desk and walks across the room to where Sayori is sitting. I watch her kneel down next to Sayori and gently talk to her, but she keeps her voice so quiet that I can't hear her from here. I sigh and sit myself down. I know Sayori told me not to worry about her and to have fun with everyone else, but that's impossible to do when she's behaving like this. Exactly how much do I care about her and that I'm letting this weigh me down so much? Now it feels like I'm the one behaving out of the ordinary. But there's nothing I can do besides wait for Monica. Why does it feel like I'm being watched? I glance around the room. Suddenly, I notice Yuri peering at me from over her book. Creepy. But she looks away just as quickly with a flustered look on her face. I realize that she won't, she won't get anywhere like this. 
I've never really seen Yuri approach anyone or start a conversation on her own accord, so I have no choice but to approach her myself. By now, it's a little easier for me to do that. I stand up from my desk and sit in the one next to her own. Huh? I, I didn't mean to bother you or anything. Relax, you didn't even do anything. But... I could tell you wanted to be alone with your thoughts. Alone with my thoughts? How were you even able to tell that I was thinking like that? Well, it's something I do a lot. So it wasn't hard for me to spot based on your posture and your expression. N not that I was staring or anything. I didn't do anything creepy like that. Stalker! In any case, I guess you were right. I'm sorry if I caused you any concern. Don't apologize. Your troubles are only the concern of those willing, willing to share. Of course, there's... There are certainly those who find the most comfort keeping it to themselves. But if you would prefer to share what's on your mind, then I would be glad to listen. Uh, it's really not a big deal. I was just feeling a bit uneasy about Sayori. Sayori? Yeah, she seemed a little off today, but when I asked her about it, she didn't really admit it to me. So I can't help but wonder if something happened to her. Katie says the stream keeps cutting out for her, but she needs to go to bed now, too. Right. I need to get some night. Using the... night, Katie. Thank you. Michael. Well, I told mom it's okay if she uses it in small bursts. Okay. So it's gonna probably keep cutting out a little bit every now and then, because for some reason our Wi-Fi and microwave like to react to each other. Um, but we'll still continue. Oh? That's quite romantic. Eh? S sorry I didn't mean to say something stupid. It's not that. I just wanted to, I just didn't want you to misunderstand. Suri and I have been friends for a long time, that's all. Ah, uh, I see. Then perhaps it is unusual for her to be dismissive to you about her feelings. Or maybe I'm just reading into it too a little too much. Taco Senpai. The world is full of meaning, often hidden deep beneath plain sight, and there are many untold mysteries behind every person. Just skip it. Uh, so you think there might be something behind it after all? Mmm. I think that Sayori is a very complex person. Her mannerisms are, on the outside, are not don't always match what may be going on inside her head. And she may not always know what she wants. I noticed her strange behavior today, too, and I also feel some concern for her, but in your case, it looked like she was fully occupying your mind. Well, I guess that was the case. Sayori, she really means a lot to you, doesn't she? Uh, I guess, but you don't need to put it that way. We're just good friends, that's all. Yuri suddenly looks deeply into my eyes. Her expression is gentle and curious, as if she was searching for something. Embarrassed, I invert my gaze. Play the game. A person's mysteries are untold even to themselves. And you, as someone honest and caring, may uncover feelings you weren't aware were in you. That is, I think that... She would be a very fortunate person to have you and feel that way about her. Yuri, you're giving me too much credit. I'm a pretty simple guy, so I think I'm pretty good at understanding my own feelings. I'm not ne nearly as sophisticated as you guys. Uh, uh, that's not a compliment, is it? It is what it is. I hate that saying Anyways, so as long as we're here, why don't we do some reading? Well, as long as you're okay with it. Yeah. I should be taking my mind off this whole thing anyways. Dot dot dot. Okay, everyone. After some time passes, Monica calls out of the club room. Why don't we share our poems now? We'll do Natsuki's first. Before I knew it, everything is back to normal. Everyone goes to retrieve their poems and I do the same. I make eye contact with Monica and she smiles at me. I wonder what she's talking about with Sayori. <laughs> You're up, cat. Okay. This one's alright. Alright? Well, yeah. 
About as good as yesterday's, anyway. I see what you're going for, but it's just not really my style. I mean, that's fine. I'm mostly just glad that you're trying a little bit. Well, of course, I'm at least trying. Why are you so emotionally invested in my poems anyways? Isn't it more, more of a compliment to me? Eh? N no! Gross! In response to you, everyone. It's not like I care. Shows that one. Just make sure you're not slacking off. Really? Well, what if I ended up just. What if you. Blah, blah, blah. What if you ended up just scaring me away? That's. Uh, um. It's not like you would actually do that. Yeah, you're right. It's kind of fun to hang out here, even if I have to put up with you. Gah! Natsuki elbows connect with my stomach. Oh? Maybe I won't scare mind scaring you away after all. I was just joking. Oh, I know. Don't worry, I was too. <laughs> Dot dot dot. <laughs> How the hell do you call that a joke? That seriously hurt. Well, maybe it was funny to her. I guess that's kind of the point. I should really just watch my mouth around Natsuki. Damn right. Anyway. <laughs> Natsuki holds her poem out for me like nothing ever even happened. Oh, I'll be your beach. I'll be Are your we beach. Are we reading? Yeah. Oh, uh, you can read if you want. I was going to. I was up for it. <laughs> you read the title. Alright. Here, so. Your mind is so full of troubles and fears that diminished your wonder over the years. But today I have a special place, a beach for us to go. A shore reaching beyond your sight, a sea that sparkles with brilliant light. The walls in your mind will melt away before the sunny glow. I'll be the beach that washes your worries away. I'll be the beach that you daydream about each day. I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap in a way you thought had left you long ago. Let's bury your heavy thoughts in a pile of sand. Bathe in sunbeams and hold my hand. Wash your insecurities in the salty sea and let me see you shine. Let's leave your memories in a footprint trail, set you free in my windy sail, and remember the reasons you're wonderful. Press your lips to mine. I'll be the beach that washes your worries away. I'll be the beach that you daydream about each day. I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap in a way you thought had left you long ago. But if you let me by your side, your own beach, your own escape, you'll learn to love yourself again. Ooh. Getting deep up in here, Natsuki. Yeah. I felt like I kept writing about negative things, so I wanted to write something with a nice... Besides, the beach is awesome! Kinda hard to write anything negative about the beach. So you decided to write about the beach first, and then came up with the message later? Yeah, well... It's only because of what happened yesterday. I mean, after you and I realized we kind of wrote about the same thing. If she wanted to pick a topic and have us both write about it, or whatever. You can really see her doing that, too. Making us write about a simple topic, then trying to impress me by coming up with something fancy. Well, it's not like I care. I just did it anyway. I mean, I guess that ended up being kind of metaphorical, too. But there's nothing wrong with doing that once in a while. At the very least, it was good practice. Hmm. These girls have clearly never taken English classes in their lives. Pick whoever you want. I'm just saying. Sayori? Sayori or Yuri. Malika's always last, you know, because I can't... Oh, I'm always doing Malika last, and that what's happening? At yeah. this point, yeah. Uh, well done, Taco-senpai. You've definitely improved your writing over the course of these few days. Has my advice been helpful to you? Yeah, definitely. I'm glad. Sharing your writing like this... It's a lot more fun and rewarding than I anticipated. One second. I need to remember to thank Monica. I think we all felt a little awkward at first. 
but now it seems like everyone is enjoying sharing through writing and seeing what others think. I guess I can't really disagree. I was afraid this whole thing would be a chore. But it's great way for me to spend some personal time with all the girls in the club. All the girls in the club. All the girls, girl. It's but it's been fun getting to know everyone in their writing, and I guess doing some writing myself. Oh, I was gonna fix that. There was a halo. Well, have you learned anything about yourself, Taka Senpai? Eh? Well, you know how I like to say that writing is a very personal way to get in touch with yourself. In the end, it doesn't matter if you're a good writer or a bad writer. And even in my opinion, even my opinions are just opinions, you know? As always, I believe what's more important is exploring and discovering yourself. That's comforting. I'm kind of afraid of disappointing you in some way or another. Eh? Why me? Well, you're always sophisticated with your writing and have the most advice to share. It, is that so? Your thanks for a good minute. That must be terrible. Eh? For me to become someone whose opinion is fearsome? How unlikable of me. Yuri. It's not as bad as you're making it sound in your head. I just meant that I respect your opinion. So now I'm crazy? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I see. I'm sorry that I always overthink and come to these sorts of conclusions. I'm just a little too used to it. Overthinking? Being disliked. Yuri. Excuse me. W what am I saying? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to bring that up. Let's move on. Alright. Do you want to share your poem now? Okay. Here. Beach. Oh. Oh. A marvel millions of years in the making, where the womb of earth chaotically meets the, sur the surface under a clear blue sky expanse of bliss but beneath gray rolling clouds and endless enigma the easiest world to get lost in is one where everything can be found sorry about my ultimate face close-up one can only build a sand castle where the sand is wet but where the sand is wet the tide comes will it gently I need to scroll there. So where the tide comes, will it gently lick at your foundation until you give in? Or will a sudden wave send you crashing down in the blink of an eye? Either way, the outcome is the same. Yet, we still build sand castles. I understand where the foam wraps around my ankles. Where my toes squish into the sand. The salty air is therapeutic. The breeze is gentle and yet powerful. I sink my toes in the ultimate boundary line tempted by the foaming tendrils turn back and i abandon my peace to a road at the shore drift forward and i return to the earth forevermore wow personally i actually don't like beaches um i'm aware that beaches are kind of a name to write about but i did my best to take a metaphorical approach to it yeah natsuki already told me about it Sh she did she didn't say anything weird did she she just wanted to, us to write about the same topic again. I suppose to better compare the differences in our writing styles or thought processes. Anyway, it was her idea. Knowing her, it's no surprise that she wanted to do something like that. She probably just wanted to show off. It's not like I'm, I have a particular interest in her writing or writing, well, I don't know. I just want, I just went with her request. Hi, Jenny8706. Uh, this is a blind uh, stream, so please no spoilers. But, well, I suppose it's not so bad to write about something simple on occasion. It can be refreshing, you know? It's good for me to calm down my thoughts once in a while. Yeah, I think I agree. Thanks for sharing. Say Sayori. Can we just, like, skip, like, if you want? We're kind of at the two-hour mark, just so you know. Just... Wah, 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 wah. Or thanks. I want to get to the poem. All right, talking about her depression, blah, blah, blah. So just, sad. Just get... Mm -hmm. like, one second.
So you're already talking about her problems. Um. We don't care about your problems, Sayori. She's playing a board game. Uh, so, sorry, Sayori didn't do a poem. Monica. Hi, Taco Senpai. Have you thought of asking about what's being submitted? I just want to get through this day. Ugh, I know. She's shy. Friends. Yeah, yeah. Ha 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 ha. We both like it. It's just, it just feels like a really dragging on game. I know what happens. Like, I've seen my friends stream this game. It's Part of it is we've been reading everything out loud, which takes way the, longer. The lady who knows everything. An old tale tells of a lady who wanders earth, the lady who knows everything, the beautiful lady who, has found, who found every answer, all meaning, all purpose that was ever sought. And here I am, a, a feather. feather. Oh, I thought we'd go down. Lost adrift, lost, lost adrift, victim of the currents of the wind. Day after day I search, I search with little hope, knowing legends don't exist, and I, but when all else has failed me, when all others have turned away, the legend is all that remains, the last dim star glimmering in the twilight sky, until one day the wind ceases to blow, I fall, and I fall, and fall, and fall even more, gentle as a feather. Uh, a dry quill expressionless but a hand catches me between the thumb and forefinger the hand is of a beautiful lady I look at her hands at her eyes and find no end to her gaze the lady who knows everything everything knows what I'm thinking before I can speak she responds to a hollow voice I have found every answer I have all of which amount to nothing there is no meaning there is no purpose we only seek the impossible I am not your legend your legend does not exist and with a breath she blows me back afloat and I pick up a gust of wind hmm. you know I feel like learning and looking answers blah 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 oh my gosh she talks a lot they all talk a lot See. it's a visual novel game I don't think I don't know I was just summaring up what talk of somebody said hmm. so they're talking about like Writing when you're happy or sad. And that humans are two dimensional creatures. Oh, one dimensional. <laughs> Yo. What's the writing tip? Monica's writing tip of the day. Are you ever too shy to share your writing because you're afraid that it's not that good? It can be really disheartening to get a lukewarm response to something that you put so much into. But if you find, find other people who enjoy writing, then sharing becomes a lot easier because instead of just telling pe of just telling you that your writing is good or okay or bad they'll want to focus more on everything that went into it and the things work on it's more important to have occurred it's much more encouraging that way and it will make you want to continue improving it's almost as like we're having your own little literature club don't you think that's my advice for today thanks for listening as we skip past your dialogue. Okay, you three. We're all done sharing poems, right? Why don't we start figuring out... Hold on a sec. Hold on a second. Oh. It's just me, or did you say something strange just now? Eh? Something doesn't... Something did sound a bit unusual. Can you just... That's right. That's right. You did... You deviated from your usual catchphrase when addressing the club. C catchphrase? I don't have a catchphrase. Well, she is a Mary Sue. Jeez. Why isn't it so weird today? Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Mm. Stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. In your books, maybe. Look, the only thing different is that Sayori isn't here. Ah. It seems you're right. <sighs> Sayori always helps lighten the mood a little bit, doesn't she? It's almost like everyone ba everyone's balance is thrown off a little when she's not here. Where the heck did she run off to, anyway? I thought she just went to pee. Natsuki, please show some decency. Oh, come on. 
Uh, she actually wasn't really feeling well today and went home early. Is that so? I hope she's alright. Seriously? Of all the times to not go home, so you pick the time she's not feeling well? So much for you two being all lovey-dovey. Ooh. Uh, no. First of all, stop misunderstanding, misunderstanding my friendship with Sayori. And second, she's kind of been avoiding me today, so I didn't want to force it. Huh? That curious expression coming from Yuri, of all people. Calm down, guys. I talked to her earlier and everything's fine. What did she say? Anyway, we need to figure out the rest of the festival preparation, so let's decide what everyone will be doing this weekend. I already know what I'm doing. That's right. Natsuki will make will be making cupcakes. But we might need a lot of them in different flavors. Can you handle that all by yourself, Natsuki? Challenge accepted. And as for myself. Can you click the button? I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Sorry will help me design them. And as for Yuri. Mm. Yuri, you can. Um. Mm -hmm. Guys, can you help me come up with something for Yuri? I. I'm useless. N no, that's not it at all. You're the most talented person here, you know. Now Natsuki's pouting too. Jeez, even I can tell now. I guess I never saw Sayori and gave enough credit to the gave her enough credit. But I can tell things are even harder on her on you when she's not around. Uh, that may be the case. But it I can't I can't also be a leader on my own. Then I won't grow as a person. So, Yuri, you have beautiful handwriting, you know. You should make some banners and decorations to help set the atmosphere. Atmosphere? Um, about that. I... I love atmosphere. Yuri's expression suddenly changes as she stares at her desk in focus and starts nodding to herself. Your mind is already racing, I see. That's great. You'll be a wonderful help, Yuri. But anyway... That leaves you, Taco-senpai. The one who's- oh. Oh, the one who is truly useless. Ah, uh, don't say that. In fact, both Natsuki and Yuri have some pretty heavy tasks to handle. It would probably go along if you give one of them a hand. You always could help me out as well. I would be really appreciative of that. Uh, that's- Is Monica suggesting I spend the weekend with one of the club members? How on earth are they going to respond to a suggestion like that? Uh, I suppose I wouldn't mind a bit of help. Well, even if you don't know how to bake, there's always some dirty work I can give to you. It's not like Monica is going to give me a choice, and you shouldn't be sitting on your butt anyway. Natsuki tries to mumble a bunch of excuses like that. Um, if I recall, Natsuki, you mentioned that you would like to handle the baking on your own. Taco Senpai may not like to be around if you only make him out to be a nuisance. So therefore, he may be more suited in assisting with de decorations. Hold on, I never said that. How hard could it be to make a few decorations anyway? Oh, sweetheart, you have no idea. <laughs> right? Sounds more like you're just making excuses for Taco Senpai to... What are you saying? It will be extremely meticulous work. And baking isn't? Also a fair point. Just what do you think? Guys, guys. Let's settle down for a moment. In the end, I think it's up to Taco Senpai to decide how he'd like to, like to help. Besides, he hasn't really gotten the chance to spend any time with me yet, you know? Mm -hmm. I'm, so I'm sure he's interested in... You literally just said. I I'm surprised as well. Oh. You okay? Yeah, I had something in my eye. Sorry. Mm. S sorry. I was just saying that. Jeez. 
Can we just settle this already? Yeah. Paku-senpai, you're okay with this, right? In the end, it's up to you. Uh, of course. Hm. Very well. In that case... Everyone looks straight at me. But um, of course, I'm going to go with... I don't know, Charlotte. I really don't want to help Natsuki. Okay. How about Yuri? Okay, to be honest, though, like, Sayori, Sayori feels bad already. Like, should we help Sayori? I think we should. She's the only one not yelling at you right now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if it's going to be anyone, then I prefer helping Sayori. I mean, we already, we're already neighbors, and... But Monica said... Monica said that Sayori was helping her. Jeez. Do you really hate us that much? N no. Sorry, I didn't mean for it, this to be difficult. Um. Oh, damn. Let's just help Yuri. Yuri's voice is the easiest to do also. Well, I'll probably be most useful to help Yuri. M me Are you serious? Why would you... Natsuki. I can already tell you're about to say something mean. Oh, well, yeah, my pink hair. <laughs> no! I was just saying... Uh... So you'll be helping Yuri then, Taco-senpai? Yeah. That's what I'm going to do. I mean, at least, like, if nothing works out with Sayori, we can... Oh, uh, we don't know. Mm. Um, let's see. It's back on. Tombook says someone's probably nuking something. Probably. That's great to hear. Natsuki, will you be able to handle the bacon yourself? I mean, yeah. I already said I would be fine. Okay, okay. Everyone can tell that Natsuki is feeling a little sour. Well, don't so, be is that everything we need to get over? Yeah, that should be about it. Are you guys excited? Well, excited may not be the right word. But I suppose I'm looking forward to it a little bit. Do you feel the same way, Taco-senpai? Me? Uh, I guess you could say I'm interested to see how it'll turn out. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's good enough for me. What about you, Natsuki? Natsuki? What? Why is everyone yelling at me? I didn't even do anything. N no. That's not what I meant at all. Yuri anxiously glances between everyone in the room. I'm sorry for this. I don't really know why Taco-senpai picked me. And also, your cupcakes are the best cupcakes I've ever had. They, they really go well with my tea. And nothing that I do for the event will compare to that, so... So... Mm -hmm. One second. I get it, I get it. One second, ladies. Kind of surprised though. Okay. Is it going to also, we might want to think about wrapping Because it's midnight. Oh, snap. Uh oh. How are we going to do this without you, Chrissy? I don't know. FaceTime me? Yeah, we, we'll probably have to Skype you in. Okay. Well, uh, so if you make a Discord. Oh my gosh! Oh yeah, that's true. And then we can just do it faceless. Let's just finish today up. Oh, what? Charlotte, it's midnight. I meant, like, let's finish oh. this up. Guys, why? Um... Well, I'm the one acting immature. I already know that. You're trying to cheer me up all of a sudden. I, I know I'm not that very not very good at all. 
I'm sorry if I said something bad. Natsuki isn't the only one surprised. Monica and I are also taken aback by Yuri's words. When she is, when she already has trouble with words, trying to cheer someone up may, must be far out of her own comfort zone. But I begin to understand. Yuri was trying to sound like Sayori. Even if it didn't work perfectly, I can tell that she's tried to say some things Sayori would say in a time like this. Because Sayori always helps everyone smile and feel good about themselves. No. I kind of appreciated it. I'm sorry for making a big deal out of nothing. Shut sure. <laughs> up. I'm going to say this. Hmm? Hmm? You better bet that my cupcakes are going to be the best part of the whole event. Uh... I believe you. Yeah. I hope to see everyone do their best. But with that, there's nothing more for today. So I guess it's time for us to head out. Alright, let's get out of here then. Everyone packs up their things. I start to follow Monica and Natsuki out the door, and they chat between each other. Um... Eh? I turn around. Sorry. I realized that I didn't... I don't have any way of contacting you. Oh, you're right. I can't believe that slipped my mind. Should I give you my phone number? Ooh. I think that would be the best way, yes. All right, then. Yuri and I exchange phone numbers. Okay. Then I'll be stopping by your house on Sunday. Eh? My house? I is that a problem? No, not at all. Where do I why does she know where I live? I just thought I would be the one going to your house since I'm the one helping you guys. Uh, I suppose that makes sense. But if you don't mind... I would prefer going to your house. Alright. In that case, it won't be a problem. I decide not to press Yuri for a reason. It's not like it should matter much either way, so I'll just need to make sure the room is clean. I hope I manage to make myself useful in some way. I'm not nearly as creative as you are. Don't underestimate yourself, Taku-senpai. I think that we'll make a very productive team. Even if you only choose me because you felt bad or something. Wait. You don't actually think that, do you? Uh, I don't know. It's difficult to come up with any other reason you may have... Blah, blah, blah. You're forgetting... Oh. oh. <laughs> You're forgetting the one reason with the most common sense. I choose to help you because it's what I want to do. But, but... Yuri thinks to herself with an extreme tense expre expression. Yuri, you're overthinking this. You want me to point out what you're overthinking, right? Uh... I didn't realize. I'm telling you, I want to. That's all there is to it. Do you believe me? I... Yuri thinks really hard again. She looks straight into my eyes for a long while. I believe you. As if it took her tremendous effort, Yuri finally says that with a relaxed expression. And I'm really looking forward to Sunday. Yeah. I am too. After the exchange, I make my way at the doors, and Yuri follows. I can't believe this. Yuri's going to be coming to my house this Sunday. Even though I would prefer to do this with Sayori, my, my anxiety still shoots through the roof. <laughs> it already does. <laughs> I guess I've gotten pretty used to handling her at this point, but who knows what it might end up happening when we're outside of school. She even told me she was looking forward to it. I shake my head. Why do I feel so nervous that Sayori finds out about this? It's not like we feel that way about each other. Besides, like Monica said, this is about the club. I have nothing to worry about. If I just go with them, then I'll have a good time. Alrighty, so this is going to be the end point for us. Yep. Um, we're gonna have to... <laughs> wow. We're gonna have to uh, Skype her in probably sometime next week. Yeah. Uh, so we'll enjoy... So we'll finish up this game. We don't know if Kat will be able to come back. Or not. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. If it's that night, I should be good. Alright, so we're gonna probably do this either Monday or a Friday night, most likely Friday night. Okay. Because I work Tuesday, Thursday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Um, so yeah, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, we're gonna make the save point. Save, save, save. Two safe points at all times. <laughs> it's already Sunday. 
It, it's literally Sunday where we are. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. Right now. Um, one second. And also, next time we stream, we should maybe see about starting earlier in the night, and that way we can actually go longer and maybe get more accomplished. Yeah, I wish I could have. I didn't want to call out of work, though, tonight. It's really not disturbing. Um, so, let me just enlarge this. So, thank you for joining us on our stream. Uh, I've really enjoyed having my sister in Aww. person. It's been a fun winter, uh, hanging with her, freezing our asses off in our it's rooms. It's cold down here. Um, moving down to the basement. My thank God for electric blankets. Um, so yeah, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, we will see you guys uh, in another video. Uh, look out next week for um, the vlog Nary to Me uh, featuring this one. Um, where we go to uh, Florida for the holidays. Yeah. Super fun. You get to meet more Disney of our family. <laughs> you'll, you'll get to meet uh, our grandmother. Or you'll get to see more footage of our dad. If you're already on the Discord page. Other family members. Other family members. Uh, our emos, which is Korean for aunt. Um, but yeah, so don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, check out for our other information. And we will see you guys later. Bye. Bye.